Trevor the Pet Guy here with another video response to a question that came in uh, via Facebook not so long ago. Um, this question was very uh, specific, excuse me, to a uh, specific dog and condition that was going on. But um, after a while, I uh, worked with a vet friend of mine and we figured out a way that we could really report on something useful to the dog community and um, society in general as a whole, actually. So I'm very excited about this one. Uh, the <clears throat> topic of discussion today is pregnancy in dogs and what had happened was somebody was a little bit concerned about some of the health conditions um, that go along with spaying a uh, female dog um, as well as some of the health conditions that could occur with uh, pregnancy so I'm here to cover a little bit of what I found out again this information does not replace that of your vet but it can help you as this information did come from a clinical source so uh, here we go First, the most important thing to consider here, obviously, um, in this question specifically, was health. So, um, the health conditions that came from spaying a dog are usually uh, urinary related, which can be treated. Um, so, yeah, there's some, you know, mild discomfort that could be associated with it, but again, it's very treatable, uh, very easy process. Um, now, on the um, other side of things, if you do not spay your dog, um, it increases their chances uh, to develop. Um, mammary tumors uh, quite significantly and every cycle as well so um, this is uh, you know definitely on the more side of a painful and serious condition and we're talking cancer so um, also um, spaying can relieve a lot of anxiety within the dog when they are in heat obviously there's a little bit of a mess created we know we can avoid that um, which is nice around the house but also um, a little bit of anxiety because during that season um, you know it's their instinct to go out and breed and if you're not letting them do that that can create some anxiety now the one case obviously where you do not want to spay your dog is if you're really interested in breeding them but there's something to think about ethically when doing so is that there are already a lot of dogs out there in um, shelters and um, midway homes as well that do not have a place to live so do you really want to bring some more puppies into a world that already has you know more than confined homes that's a question now I am never one to advocate um, not following your passion and your dreams so if you really 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 are interested in breeding your dog or breeding um, puppies then you should do that but you know make sure that that's something you're so passionate about that you're willing to go to the classes and, and really learn you know what that's all about and become a um, you know a high quality breeder because you know there's some competition out there so um, you're gonna want to take the steps necessary to make sure that people are adopting your dogs and you know again that it's something you're incredibly passionate about and you know you're really sure the risk outweighs the benefit or the benefit outweighs the outweighs the risk rather sorry so um, just to review um, as far as pain goes spaying is not painful um, there are some risks um, involved most of them relate to urination issues which can be easily treated on the other side, um, increased risk for cancer. Um, obviously, um, you know, a little bit of uh, mess that can have to be cleaned up every cycle. Um, more importantly, though, is obviously, you know, the health risk associated with not spaying your dog. We really, if that's something you're not passionate about, please, please, please spay them. The benefits far outweigh the risk, I think, in this case. So, uh, I hope that was informative. Um, I hope you found out some good information um, that you can use um, when you're making this decision for your dog. And again, if you have any questions, please feel free to submit them. Um, you know the outlets, uh, Twitter, Facebook, email, uh, the website. Uh, we got a new website that should be launching within two weeks or so, so we're really excited about it. Um, and if you have any questions in specific uh, about this issue, please feel free to send them my way as well. I can get a little bit more in depth if we need. Um, this is more supposed to be a general overview. So thanks again, guys. I hope you had a great week and continue to do so. And always remember to wag more and bark less. Cheers, and until next time.